So steps five is um, how to read an Excel into Pandas. Um, and you have checked probably the videos before. There I showed how to read a CSV. Now here the Excel, and it's pretty similar. Um, I've prepared an Excel of a, of a web crawl done with Screaming Frog. And uh, the Excel looks like this. So it the difference maybe to a CSV is it has here a, how is it called? A, is it a site or a page or whatever? Um, and it has some data and now I want to load it. And it's done like this. So you go for the same uh, directory plus the, the name of the file. You tell in this case, the header is zero because the first, um, the first row in the Excel is giving you the column uh, headers or the column names. And what I need to add here, in this case, I need to add the sheet name. There are other options how to load it. You can also load by, um, not by name, but by index. And uh, if I do that, I should get uh, a little data frame into Pandas. So. Now I would recommend to stay a little bit. Uh, loading an Excel is now explained, but the interesting part is now check these weird headers. And I want to show you here some cleanup. Uh, first cleanup is how to clean up uh, these columns. And in this case, it's not so e it's the rename function I explained in the video four. Uh, so the, the video before, so um, but here you have more complicated uh, column names because you have all these uh, things you need to escape. So, but this one should clean it up and uh, have nice column names. So then in addition, I want to show you another cleanup. Um, I, what I already did uh, before is I wanted to get out of the address here um, the ID again explained I think in the second video and um, I want to drop some drop I think never used it until now drop is a function to kick out columns in this case so I want to kick out um, yeah this content the status code and this I, I don't care yeah so let's run this and you see now it's much more clean. It dropped the three columns and it added the ID column. And uh, there we are.